Hey guys, welcome back. You're watching Christ Culture. I'm Akash and I'd like to share some thoughts about how you can strengthen your bond with your parents and siblings. Did you know that 66% of your youth of children between the age of 12 to 17 live with both of their parents and they have a good bond with them? So there are 34% of your youth. This video is specially for you. The relationships are very important in our life in numerous ways. So I'll start with how to strengthen the bond with our siblings first. In Matthew chapter 5, verses 23 to 24, it says that, Therefore, if you are offering your gift at the altar, and then remember that your brother or sister has something against you, leave your gift in front of the altar. First go and reconcile to them, then come and offer your gift. So here are some tips to strengthen your bond with your siblings. So the first point is pray for them. Sometimes we just don't know what our siblings are going through. Just like us, they are also having their own troubles. So just pray for them. The second point is practice forgiveness and repentance. Jesus tells us to forgive our neighbors again and again. So just don't bring up the annoying things that they have done in the past. Just forgive them. So the third point is bless them. Instead of cursing your siblings or just getting annoyed at them, just bless them. I mean, who doesn't love blessings? So the fourth point is, focus on the Word of God and participating in the Eucharist. Encourage your family members to read the Bible and participate in the Holy Mass. And finally, remember that God gave you this particular family for a reason. It may be through you, your family obtained salvation. Moving on to the next point, Ephesians chapter 6, verses 1 to 3. Child, obey your parents for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise, that it may go well with you, that you may live long in the land. In the first sentence itself, the key word is to obey. Obey means to hear and to respond to that hearing. We should respect our father and mother with all due respect and we should obey them. So if a bond with our parents is not good, we are opening a doorway for many negative spirits. Chas, Number one, ego. Ego can be very dangerous. It can even destroy our bond with our parents and also with anyone. When ego develops in us, automatically we will become self-centered. Number two, pride. We will be very arrogant to everyone. When pride develops in us, we will feel that we are superior over everyone. But that's a physical feeling. Spiritually, we are zero. Number three, loneliness and depression. When ego and pride develops in us, no one would like to approach us. No one would want to talk to us. That's when we get lonely. When we get lonely, we won't get anyone to share our feelings. And followed by loneliness, we get depressed. When we get depressed, we also get instinct to suicide. Number four, personality disorder. This is like the final outcome of all those negative spirits. Our life will get messed up. We will be a whole different person. In Leviticus chapter 19, verses three, God says that every person should respect his father and mother. So when you are not in good terms with your parents, you are in darkness. So when you obey your parents, the light enters the darkness and the darkness is abolished. As mentioned in Psalms chapter 18, verse 28, my God turns my darkness into light. When the light enters our life, our bond with our parents will automatically get good. And when the bond is good, there will be two benefits, that is spiritual development and physical development. So when spiritual development occurs, you will always be peaceful. You will always be confident. You will feel a sense of belongingness and also you will rejoice in your Lord as said in Philippians chapter 4 verses 4. Rejoice in your Lord always. When physical development happens, we will be confident, we will have faith, we will receive a lot of blessings. We could study good because it clears our brains from bad thoughts. So whenever you feel that you're not in good terms with your parents or siblings, just look into that light. The light that gives us hope. The light that forgives our sins. The light that died for us. The light that showers us with all the blessings. The light that always want to be with us. So just think before you do anything. Because God has given us free will. The freedom to choose the right or the wrong. The freedom to choose truth or darkness. The freedom to choose life or death. So choose wisely. So pray, forgive, bless, and stay with the Word of God. And don't forget, a family that prays together stays together. Stay tuned for the next episode. Praise God.